Should you follow your passion when it comes to creating content online? Well, this is the question that I'm going to answer in today's episode. Welcome to Build Your Thing, the podcast where we help content creators find their unique voice, monetize their work, and build their tribe of loyal fans. I'm your host, Matt Giaro, and I'm thrilled to have your attention today. So, with that being said, you see a lot of people talking about, well, you have to follow your passion, you have to follow um, your inner voice, you have to follow the things that that really thrills you up. Well, is it a good advice? Um, Partially. Why? Because if you go back to what passion or where from where passion actually comes from, it comes from the Latin and it's actually um, the, the like the, the, the word is like patio or patio or like I'm not a Latin expert, but what it actually means and, and this is what what's the interesting part here, it actually means to suffer and to endure. Which means that what if what if following your passion wasn't really about following things you enjoy doing? but things that you are willing to suffer for in order to get the outcome. This is a a tough question, right? Because most of the time we just want to do what we want to do, right? Like the thing that we are just, um, um, that that just interests, that that, that is just like where we have our curiosity, uh, where our curiosity leads us or the things that actually thrills us up. But the thing is, when you start doing it as a business, there are other things that you probably don't want to do. Of course, you can reduce them to, uh, to um, as much as possible, but that you still sometimes have to do s- stuff that you don't enjoy. So now, so now kicks in this question, are you willing to suffer enough in order to make it happen? If the answer is yes, then I bet that you're willing to have a successful business. If the answer is no, then... Well, no matter how many motivational videos you're going to watch on on YouTube, you probably won't get the results. And this is why following your passion, being doing the things that you actually love, that you actually enjoy, and just dancing under the rainbow is is like just like uh, maybe a good advice, but not a good enough advice to to make a business out of it, right? Because even though you're following your passion, if let's say you don't solve, you're not solving any problem, then well, you don't have a business. You may have a hobby, and that's cool. But if you want to make money out of that and you want to pay your rent, then you won't get very far. So this is why um, all this advice that you see online: follow your passion, blah blah blah. And, and this, this this is nice advice, but it's it's not enough actually to build a business, right? If like, if this was enough, I mean, a very, like, many people would be wealthy by, by the time being, but, but it's not the case. So what to do? Well, don't think just about yourself. Don't be, don't be a, a selfish jerk, <laughs> even though we are all selfish uh, human beings. You can be selfish, but you still have to get or have enough empathy in order to solve other people's problems right? And you still have to actually understand that at one time or another, you are going to face hard times. And if you think that business is linear, that making money out of your content is easy stuff, then you're wrong. Because you're going to face challenges. You see what I mean? So, this is life. Welcome to life. There, there, there is like no, no, nothing easy. Like if you just, if you're just looking for the easy path, um, well, you're going to see that sooner rather than later, you are going to experience that life is tough. And same goes for business. Okay. So this is why I would encourage you to really think about, if especially if you're, if you have different niches or different things that you want to talk about, well, what is the thing that I that you're willing to do day in, day out, and that you're willing to suffer for? And here you may have your business idea. Here you may have the niche that you were looking for, right? So if you want to go a little bit deeper down the rabbit hole in actually creating a uh, content creation business where you can just talk about things that you're willing to suffer for, then I would encourage you to check out my free training called the 4P formula. So it's a free training 
um, I'm going to leave the link in the show notes um, where I'm going to walk you through the four P's, um, the four elements or the four components that you need in order to create a content creation business where you can make six figure out of it per year. Of course, this is not a, this is not a, a promise, a 100% promise, but this is actually what this framework is um, intend you to make, right? So if you want to check that out, I'm going to leave the link in the show notes. And if you appreciate this episode, as usual, please, the biggest thing that you can do is spread the word, subscribe to it. If you're on iTunes, leave a five-star review if you appreciate it. And also, why don't write a comment? This will help us get more exposure um, to the show and actually get more people uh, know about what we do here. And yeah, with that being said, I see you guys in the next one.